In addition to the light sensors for the targets, I also sell new old stock replacement displays, the correct vacuum fluorescent displays that the game uses. This is an SP352, they're brand new old stock, and also replacement motors for the targets that will work properly, have the correct voltage and current ratings. This is the 8-track tape deck that has the sounds on it. There are two volume controls on this preamplifier board. This one is for the background sounds, music and people talking. The second potentiometer is for the helicopter blades, sound of the helicopter going. So you adjust that to a level that you want to start with. And then inside the control panel there are two potentiometers here on your throttle. And this bottom potentiometer is the second volume control for the helicopter rotor blades. So as you increase, give it more throttle, you rotate this and actually make the helicopter blades, uh, the volume get, get louder. And then up here, this is the speed for your helicopter blades. That potentiometer goes to the, uh, the copter motor board. Over here, you have your forward and reverse and there's a solenoid that when the game is not in play this lever is forward and it locks in to a pin so that the handle cannot move. When you start a game this energizes and pulls back and allows you to go forward and reverse on your handle. The restoration is complete. Let's play a game. throttle and direction control. This goes backwards and this goes forwards. That's up and down. Game over.
I got more than nine hits, so I get to keep playing. Past 90, I get another 90. the coin door cleaned up repainted brand new decals giving you the instructions on how to play and new edging has been put in all the way around. Look at the back of the machine. That's the Midway's chopper. Game over. For more information, visit gameroomrepair.com.